Hey guys, it's Mia. Today I'm going to be making DIY bath bombs. I love bath bombs, but they are so expensive. I thought I'd make some DIY bath bombs and they're gonna be a lot less expensive and it's just gonna be really fun to make. Anyway, all you're going to need is baking soda, cornstarch, Epsom salt, citric acid, coconut oil, baby oil or essential oil. The only difference is that this one has a better smell. Food coloring, a bowl, a whisk, molds, and water. So, let's get started. First, you're going to want to get one and a half cup of baking soda. Next, I'm doing a three-fourths cup of cornstarch. Then, three-fourths cups of Epsom salt. Guys, this is really fun. I feel like a chef, even though you're not, or a baker, even though I'm not gonna be eating it. Ooh, this salt feels fluffy. Then, again, you're going to do three-fourths of citric acid. Now, since all of my dry ingredients are in, I'm going to mix it. What are you doing? All the stuff we put in here so far, is it edible? No, none of it's edible. I mean, baking soda you put in cookies, you don't eat Epsom salt and stuff like that. Epsom salt's not edible? No. I thought you used Epsom salt for cooking. No. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Don't eat the bath bombs, kids. Okay, once you've mixed all your dry ingredients, you're gonna start adding your wet ingredients. Next, you're gonna put six teaspoons of water. One. Ooh. Hear it? It's sizzling. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Now I'm going to start mixing it. Okay. Next I'm gonna put my essential oil. If you don't have your essential oil, then you can put in baby oil. It just won't smell as good, but it's okay. I have lavender and peppermint. I am going to put in peppermint, because it's almost Christmas and I feel like peppermint's Christmassy. Oh, so cute. One. Two. Three. This is perfectly three of these. Is it the tab bit more which I'm just gonna add in. Ah, it smells good. Okay, so next you're going to do three to four tablespoons. One. Two. Three. I'll put four. Just cause why not? Go big or go home. <laughs> We're gonna mix this up. Come on, little guy. What feels so cool. Okay, since the stuff is getting stuck inside the whisk, I am going to use this brown thing. Okay. The next thing you're gonna wanna put in is 
Food coloring. There is no amount of food coloring, just as much as you want. You don't have to put food coloring, but it makes it... You don't have to put food coloring, but it makes it look a lot prettier, so. I would suggest putting food coloring, but if you don't have it, it's not that big of a deal. So now I'm just gonna add my food coloring, and I got this little tray so I can mold it. I have got red, pink, purple, and green. I'm gonna mix it with my hands a little bit, so, you know. Ooh, this feels so good. Since I made a big batch, I'm separating them because Good thing I'm getting a new phone. <laughs> and also good thing I don't need the water anymore. <laughs> See if it still works. Yeah. For the first colors I'm gonna do is pink and purple because those are two of my favorite colors. I love pink and purple. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, let me just try that first. Mix it up and see if that's enough. Next, I'm gonna do my purple. Make sure you ask your parents before you do this because it makes a mess, so they make it mad. So, you know. Or just clean it up. Okay, now I got my pink and purple, and the next colors I'm gonna do is green and red because it's almost Christmas and I'm making these for Christmas presents. It's a really good idea to make them for Christmas presents because it's really cheap and it means a lot because you personally made them, so that's really cool. Which one am I gonna put green in? I'm gonna put green in this one. Okay. Okay, now we got the green. The next we're doing the red. I feel like the red's gonna turn out pinkish. Cause you know, pink's just a lighter shade of red. Okay, right, comment if you guys think it's gonna be red or pink. Comment down right now, go. Okay, I think it's gonna be, I think it's still gonna be pink. I think it's gonna be like, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit darker than this pink, but yeah. Oh, it is making red, yay. After you mix all your colors and stuff, you are going to get your molds and start putting them in the molds. You guys, look how pretty they all look together. First, I think I'm gonna do the hearts. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple in. Bit of the pink bit of the red. I'm not gonna put green in. I'm just gonna put a mixture of those three because they're like, I don't know, heart colors, I guess. Pat it down. Okay, so this one's perfectly patted down and you're going to wait five to six something minutes for it to dry. Next, I have this little cup a cute little shape. So I'm doing that next. This one I'm gonna make the Christmas colors. And then I'm gonna add some of the white. So I got those three. This one's a lot easier to make the mold in because that one's really flimsy. I'm probably gonna make the rest out of these ones. Gonna put more green in. You're in a Christmas one. OK, 
Okay, perfect. I'm gonna do another Christmas one. We've got a perfect Christmas one. Oh. How did she give her 10 minutes? Matt! And then I'm gonna do just a pink one, then just a green one. And I don't think I have enough for just red. So, next I'm just gonna do an all green one. So there's not enough green, so since it's almost Christmas and I'm making these for Christmas presents, I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of the red on top. So it's gonna have a red bottom and then like the green top. Okay guys, so they have all sat and dried for about 15 minutes. So right here we have parchment paper, you can use saran wrap or whatever you want, just so it doesn't stick to the stuff. So now we're just gonna pop them out. Okay, this one looks cool. Perfect. They're gonna be harder to get out. Okay. It's okay if it falls apart a little bit, it's gonna... Oh, this one came out really good. One. Perfect. Really? Okay guys, now I'm going to let them sit for 24 hours and we will be right back in a day from now. Okay guys, it is the next morning. Sorry for my whole hair and stuff. I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. But anyway, these are dried and we are getting ready to put them into cute little bags and then we're gonna put some in the bathtub and see how they turn out. Okay, so I don't know what happened to this one. I'm guessing it broke and someone molded it into a circle. But, I mean, looks good. So this one, since it's small enough, we're going to put in this little cute thing. First, I'm going to get some of this stuff. Put it at the bottom. So I got some cute little confetti at the bottom and then we're just gonna put this on top. And there is that one. Look how cute it is, guys. This is gonna be such a cute Christmas present just to give to like some of your friends. Look at it. It's a little bath bomb. It's so cute. I love it. Some of them did Oh my gosh. That just broke. Some of them didn't turn out as good, but that's my bad. It's my first time making them. So, if this happened to one of yours and it just broke into piles, and you don't feel like making any more, just put it into your little thing. And put the rest of this one in your thing. It's okay if it's all crushed up, whatever. Because that one was the one that fell in the beginning, so that's okay. So then you have your little powder. You can say it's for your bath. It's a bath bomb crushed up. And you can pretend like it was supposed to be like that. Like, it's a bath bomb crushed up and it's really cute. Just, It's still really cute. Look at it. It's still super cute. I hope my other ones don't break. Like, come on. Now I have this little bag. I'm gonna put some confetti in the bottom. But it's perfect. Look how sturdy it is. This is a perfect bath bomb. It's perfect. I'm so proud of this one. Which one should I put in next? I'm gonna give a Christmas one too. Oh, this one's really good too. See, these are really good bath bombs. I just, just a couple of them fell apart, which is okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how cute this is. 
little bath bomb Christmas package. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. That's how you wrap them up and make them look cute. And I'm just gonna do the other ones. Play the fast motion, boom. Okay guys, I have finished all of the little packages for the bath bombs. Here are two of the crushed ones. And then here is a little circle bath bomb. Okay, now we're gonna test these two out and put them in the bath and see how they work. Okay, so the bath bombs worked. They sunk to the bottom, so you couldn't really see them fizzle, but it smells so good, and it's still really good for your skin, even though it didn't do what a normal bath bomb does, but it's still really good. Okay guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below. I love bath bombs if you made it to the end. I love these DIY bath bombs. They are all so cute and they make the perfect Christmas gift. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!